In Sri Krishna Samhita, Bhaktivinoda Thakur describes hellish planets are imaginary. Can you discuss that? In Sri Krishna Samhita, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is describing that the conception of hellish planet is imaginary, it is not real. What he has told, he has told true. <laughs> Nothing to change. So there's no such thing as hellish planets? <laughs> and it was his first book. Sri Krishna Sanghita. Ah, Sri Krishna Sanghita. So there are no hellish planets or are there? <laughs> what is written there? Ask him. He is telling that it is written that there are no hellish planets. It is imaginary. Then he imaginary. It is imaginary. What is question? <laughs> What question? Bhakti Nauta Thakur says, in Krishna Samhita, the hellish planet, there's no such place, it's imaginary. Maybe translation? No. Who translate? I want completely clear description. Hellish planet. Who translate it? They wrongly translate. Really? <coughs> I think so. Otherwise, it mentioned completely Bhagavatam clearly. <coughs> How Srila Bhakti Nauta Thakur can go against Srila Bhagavatam? Some people, they say that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he spoke like that. He has come, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, yeah. to cut the arguments of uh, Bhatna, Bangla. Intellectuals. No. Brahmavadi. Brahmavadi. Brahmos. Brahmos. Huh? Brahmavadi. Brahmos. Atheists. Sandy. Uh, Sahajiya, Tiger, Tari, Tachi. What is the Brahma Vadito? Brahma Vadito. Ravindra Takor. Brahmos. To cut the argument, not to establish anything. So he may write anything which has cut their argument. Not to prove. Huh. <coughs> Brahma Vadi Nari. Tagore? Hmm. Ravindranath Tagore? Yeah, what kind of their opinion was there? Father. Oh, okay. Nam Devendranath Thakur. Oh. Devendranath. Devendranath. Brahma Samaj. Brahma Samaj. Brahma Samaj. Brahma Samaj. Because some people say he's writing like that just because those people, they do not accept hellish planet. So he wants to write those things that they can accept and just to bring them inside. Maybe. Then he's possibly. saying like, okay, this is imaginary. But he's not thinking they're imaginary, but one tactic of preaching yeah, to bring them. Possible. Yeah. <clears throat> Any you using any tactic to bring them into developing some faith in bhakti. He may say, oh, this is imaginary, because they think that it is imaginary, and then he wins their sympathy, and then he brings them closer to bhakti. Possible? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, so. possible. Okay. Like Swamiji, sometimes he would say that the jiva has come from Golok, Golok and has Give fallen down. this in question, in what he told, another. Like Swamiji also... Prabhu telling that Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he used to say, all, all of us have come from Golok Vrindavan as a tactic he to never bring said. them... He, he has said. not told like this. Yeah, he never said. They are telling, uh -huh. but he never told like this. Yeah, he never said. He cannot tell. <coughs> said once now they are telling. Now they are telling. But it is not true. Journey, All journey of the soul. from Golo, what was the need to come? There is no Maya. <laughs> then how how they will come? If in Baikunt Maya, then what is the difference between Golo Vrindavan and here? <laughs> and why need to bhajan? No difference. So it is not. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Guru, yesterday. Oh, come front, front. No, you can tell. Go on, go on. Bro. Yesterday, there was a discussion. Bolo, that, bolo, bolo, bolo. That in all Kalpas, Sri Radha Krishna is coming, Gauranga is coming. The Gauranga didn't come first time in other Kalpa he when he came. So at that time he was here when he was distributing Prem. Sure. Ah, okay. Sure. Whenever he comes, he distributes. In every Kalpa, once in a day of Brahma, Mahaprabhu comes. Krishna comes. In every time he is distributing Krishna Prem, Mahaprabhu. That is the question. That is good. Yes, yes. It is not question. No, it is statement. Affirmation. Confirmation so from yesterday. Uh, if the living entities um, fall into. Um, if there's no Maya in, um, in Gloka Vrindavan and Vaikuntha, then do the liberated souls, how do they still have independence, free will? Do, do, do they have free will? They have free will, they use for Krishna service. They are not enjoying their own senses over there. Only they are pleased to Krishna, nothing else. Confirmation from yesterday. Gurudev said that in temple we should not have deity of Lord Shiva. Shiva now, Lingam. Look, Shiva Lingam. How about if somebody has Shiva Lingam that they are worshipping as Gopeshwa Mahadev? This also not should not be there in, in temple or? Because sometimes somebody brought to our place and they're worshipping Gopeshwar Mahadev. We have told other, other, other uh, place, not in the same temple, we have told yesterday. Other, uh, somebody asked yesterday as a Gopeshwar, that we don't know. Different temple. Different place. Right. Even Outside Gopeshwar Mahadev. the temple they can do, like in uh, Anandalam, they have. Small and Rup Sanatan? They did why, they asked, we are not doing it. Rup Sanatan, there is Gopeshwar. Not Shiva Lingam, I said. Yeah. He's a Gopeshwar. Oh, Shiva Linga, yesterday we were discussing that we worship Shiva Ling as Gopish for Mahadev. Why he can All not. No, no, I tell him exactly. Bolja Somebody only, brought. Only Gopish for Mahadev in Bindaban. Bolja Mundir and 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 that Shiva Linga Mao, we consider his um, Gopeshwar. Both cannot be kept in one temple. Gopeshwar Mahadev. temple always be outside of. Huh. Because the in Bindaban too, he is not in the temple of any Vishnu temple. Okay. And they are Darpal. Huh? They are gatekeeper of Dham. <coughs> uh, they are gatekeeper. In, in Mathura, Bhuteshwar, Rangeshwar, Gokarneshwar, Pipaleshwar. Without his mercy, anyone cannot enter in Vrindavan. Vrindavan, Gopeshwar, Kamavan, Kameshwar, Govardhan, Chakreshwar, even Navadipdham, also there, and Puridham, Lokanath, 